Fatty block. That looks clean, man. That fatty, looks fresh. Fatty end plates, been uh, bead blasted housings. Um, that's done probably about three rounds. This time I've used two of one set, one of another set. But this time I've gone RX8 rotors, and it's actually a lot peppier than it was before. Um, that was just from I scored a motor from pick apart, like a U pick rickers. Went and just grabbed the core out of that. Uh, we built this. Pretty much started about two weeks ago since I seen you last time and then Bill was like get off your ass and switch your car bro um, so I did that but pretty much we booked this last Saturday it's Sunday, it's Sunday. and I'm not home yet well, back to where I'm staying tonight Last night's another story. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, so it's got RX-8 rotors in it, yeah? Yeah, I just, to be honest, I just kind of use what I can find and get my hands on for a reasonable price. A lot of stuff skyrocketed, but I like OEM parts or getting it from an original motor when I can, which is really hard to do now. I've been, do I've been doing this for about 20 years now, and I'm really lucky I've learned from some masters that have like taught me heaps of these tricks. Um, I'm really grateful for that. So did you assemble it all? Yeah, I, we're a bit rushed, so 
So my mate Rodney, he gave me a hand, but pretty much I stacked the block. Um, I kind of, I tend to like, I like building my cars. I've never really worried about building motors too much, but the last few years, because I'm just giving them such a hiding, as you can probably tell, I just, um, it's easier to look after your stuff yourself. This whole thing, believe it or not, it's probably like a, without the core, just recently it cost me like three grand to freshen it up, New Zealand dollars. And that was just, that's not including the labor or nothing like that. Um, a little bit of it is, like we just changed the ports a little bit. Good on you, fresh seals. Yeah. So, I run the E&J Apex seals from Miami, Florida. Um, the Edgar Perez uses those in the Puerto Rican drag motors in it, I believe. Huh. Um, they're way overkill for this engine. I was using some in some FD turbo motors at the time. I just scored a set as part of payment um, and used them for testing. Um, I pulled down the motor a few times. I ran a lot of premix, about 200 mils. 20 litres of fuel and um, the housing fuck them. Excuse my language, bloody just a bit. So those rotors in it, the RX8 ones, did you have to machine them? Right yeah, the slot's shallow, so that the that groove had to be deepened to run the FD Apex seals. And then basically, I even reused the side seals that were in the old engine. Uh, just because it's what I had and tried to save money. It's those rotors, man. NA people with NA. Like, yeah, I would I would agree. Like before, so the last block was FC, um, the heaviest and the lowest comp of the rotors of, of like that uh, 90s era upwards. Yeah. Um, and then these are probably some of the lightest and higher compression rotors that you could use. Yeah. Um, so the FD plates allow a bigger port than the earlier motor. Um, a lot of that stuff was just always on the cheap. My, my whole car is on the cheap. It's a. It's just working to be with like what a, you got, bro. Not cheap. Just work with what you well, got. Well, uh, I always liked the, the rat rods and stuff like that. Yeah. And at the workshop I used to work at, we had a lot of cars come through that were really nice on the outside. They had popped the bonnet and like lines and stuff were blowing off and wiring was like catching on fire. So I kind of. This is Mad Max flavor. Well, I believe you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I, I kind of look like a bit of an angry looking dude and I'm not, I'm quite mellow. Uh, but people um, just, I don't know, don't know how to take me sometimes. Don't judge, don't judge a book yeah, by Yeah, and I'm, I'm yeah. quite into all that stuff, Ash, you know? Yeah. But Just, so jump, just jump in a cars with no rear brakes and get told after you just sent it. I really like, I really like doing that to people after they come for a, for a ride, eh? So don't, yeah, don't advertise that too much, eh? But it's all good. 